Hello and welcome to Lamp and Light Devotions for 3 20 2024. The title for today's devotion is Effective Prayer. The scripture is Hosea 7 14. They do not cry to me from the heart, but they wail upon their beds. For grain and wine they gash themselves, they rebel against me. It is an easy thing for men to be very hot for such things as rituals and forms of prayer as they are written in a book, yet they are altogether forgetful to inquire within themselves whether or not they have the spirit and power of prayer. These people are like painted men, and their prayers are like false voice. They appear as hypocrites to God, and their prayers are as an abomination. If anyone turns a deaf ear to the law, even his prayers are detestable. Proverbs 28.9 When therefore you intend to pray to the Lord of heaven and earth, consider the following particulars. Number one, consider seriously what you want. Do not, as many who in their words only beat the air, asking for such things as indeed you do not desire, nor see that you stand in need of. Number two, when you see what you want, keep to that and take heed to pray sensibly. Number three, take heed that your heart as well as your mouth speaks to God. Let not your mouth go any further than you strive to draw out your heart along with it. David would lift up his heart and soul to the Lord and for good reason. For so far as man's mouth goes along with his heart, so far his prayers is but lip labor only. If you have a mind to enlarge in prayer before God, see to it that it be with your heart. Avoid just affecting expressions and pleasing yourself with their use, because you can quickly forget the real power of prayer. Real power is a serious concern. For we, we are speaking to the sovereign Lord of all the universe, who is willing to move heaven and earth to answer a sincere and reasonable prayer. Prayer is not a mechanical duty, but a wonderful opportunity to develop a loving and caring relationship with the most important person in our lives. This writing comes from John Bunyan in Pilgrim's Prayer Book.